Do you have a secret crush and you can't seem to muster up the courage to talk to them in person just yet? So you decide you want to talk to them online first? A few texts here, social media comments there, and you're good, right? Well, you may need some tips to get you started. Here's some help on how to get your crush to like you online. Number one, see if you have mutual friends. Do you have mutual friends with your crush? The great thing about social media platforms is being able to see who follows who and who's on whose friend list. So if you give your crush a friendly follow or add them with a note saying you go to the same school or are in the same club, then after you're on their friends list, see who else is. Odds are the social media site will let you know what followers or friends you have in common. If you know this mutual friend well enough, you can reach out and ask them about your crush. If you trust them, go ahead and ask if they'll be your wingman or maybe if they can invite your crush out to their next outing, which you'll be invited to as well. Then you can have an easier time getting to know your crush because your mutual friend can introduce you to them. If you're not quite comfortable with admitting who your crush is to your mutual friend, you can always message your crush asking how they know your mutual friend. It starts a conversation and it shows you know them too, so they may just trust you more and feel comfortable messaging you. Number two, get to know them and show you care about them. Have you shown any of your passions and hobbies through social media posts? Well, now that they know a bit about you through your posts, find out what they like to do as well. Get to know them. If they posted about a movie they really liked, discuss it with them. If they shared a photo of themselves that reveals a hobby of theirs, ask them about it. Get to know your crush a bit by asking about them, their hobbies, interests, and passions. If you have something in common, run with it and keep the conversation going. Grow it towards more than a shared interest, but a discussion about why you both love what it is that you're passionate about. What about it to you makes it your one and only passion? They'll likely share what drew them to their passions initially too, or why they got into their career, or what's going on lately in their life. The point is to not only get to know them, but to show them you care by listening, asking follow-up questions, and expressing your genuine interest when possible. Number three, find something interesting you both have in common. Similar to point two, do you have something in common with your crush? Try to find something interesting that you both have in common. If you find something more unique that you have in common, even better. This will bring you closer and give you something personal to talk about. You may even develop a private joke or two, which can bring you closer together. Once you have something in common that's unique or interesting, it could set you apart from their other friends, which means they may bond with you even more. Number four, post about something that you have in common with them. Okay, so now you've gotten to know them better and you've found out that you have a few things in common with them. To catch their attention more, post about your shared interest. So let's say you both enjoy skiing. Post a photo of your latest skiing outing. If they comment on it, you can then casually invite them out to your next ski outing. Or maybe you don't get much snow where you live. Hmm. How about posting an update on a book by the author you both love? If they comment on it, this is a good sign. Then you have an easy way of starting up a conversation again with them on the topic you posted about. Number five, text some open-ended questions. While texting, it's a good idea to keep the conversation going with some open-ended questions. Avoid simply yes or no questions, or look out for how they reply. If you notice they don't ever ask questions back to you, it's a likely sign that they're not that interested. If they only text back brief yes or no responses, they might not be into keeping the conversation going. It shouldn't just be you who's asking the questions in your discussions, but generally don't turn away from asking some friendly questions when they arise. Who knows? The more you both get to know each other, the more you may start to like each other, whether that be as romantic partners or friends. And number six, be genuine and be yourself. Are you your genuine self when you text your crush? It's important not to pretend you're someone besides your true self. The impression you're trying to give off should be authentic to who you are. Once the conversation starts flowing, don't overthink things and just run with it. Ask some questions, respond truthfully, and don't worry about seeming perfect. If you make a silly mistake, you may just come across as relatable. You'll want a partner who is compatible with you and perhaps one day likes you for being you. It's best not to be anyone else besides yourself. So how will you start a conversation with your crush online or will you approach them in person first? Feel free to comment down below. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.